Here's another attack. It is Fantastic Four versus uh, Sinister Six. Uh, I haven't really tried this one much before, and you can see my my F4 team is a little imbalanced. Um, really need to get some stars on Fantastic and uh, Human Torch. Uh, unfortunately, it's just been hard to find uh, those shards. So, you know, that's how it goes. But I'm going to give this a shot. It's a pretty big punch up, about 60k, um, which is, oh man, what is that, 30%, I think? Uh, but I want to give it a shot, kind of get used to this fight. I haven't really done this very much. So you can see here, they hit my uh, Invisible Woman with the defense down because she has the highest resistance of the group, because she's the highest power, and uh, just has pretty good resistance in general. Um, I think a lot of people go for Shocker first, which makes sense, especially with the assist that we get, so that clears those deflects. And then we're going to clear his offense up, which renders him a little more useless, which is nice. We will give them offense down. And you can see there that turn order uh, really makes it hard for Sinister Six to recover because they really are a burst team. And there you go. So, so Shocker didn't even get to use his ult. Uh, so that's a fairly good uh, combo there. Um, I don't think I really need to kill Vulture that quickly. I really like getting rid of Goblin because he keeps stripping buffs every turn and he keeps removing all my offense up. And I really like offense up. It's pretty much my favorite buff in the game, I would say. Um, I don't know, maybe other people like, you know, stuff like Flex, you know, or Murray or something. But I really like offense up because I like murdering stuff. I don't know if you've noticed that in my video. But I really, really, really like killing things. Um, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't loved enough as a child or something. I like murdering stuff. Oh, oops, that was the wrong guy. Okay, well, he's dead anyway, so. But you can see here, I'm like just screwing around and uh, a team that's 60k below these dudes is just wrecking shop. And that was without offense up right there. So, uh, he's blind, even though he's made of rock. Um, not sure how that works, but you know, that's cool. And uh, yeah, Rhino is just one on five right now. Um, so this is probably an overkill, uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> We're probably gonna punch it up a lot higher. Um, just because the Namor ult will remove all their buffs and he goes right after Shocker in between Shocker's turns of, um, you know, him using his ult. Because uh, he gets that turn meter boost whenever he uses his uh, special to apply, uh, or, yeah, it, to apply the offense up. And so this team is, like, just, like, perfect for beating them, right? And, um, you know, it, it's just... It's kind of funny how certain teams just feel like, you know, puzzle pieces. They just fit together to, you know, beat another team. And, I mean, this one in particular is just like, man, like, they are just tailor-made, it seems, to kill S6. Like, it's it's crazy. And the other funny thing is that Sinister Six is, like, the unlock for Invisible Woman. So, I don't know if that's, like, some sort of stupid meta joke or something. But, like... Fantastic Four, I, I feel like I got punch up 100k on Sinister Six with my Fantastic Four. Ooh, Marauders. Okay. Uh, I'll have to think about this one and see who I want to use to attack them. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so it's just, it's funny to see that. Like, I mean, look at that. Okay, 208k to 270 So that's like a 70k punch up. It's even more than I thought. Like, that's a huge jump. That's, that's 35% or so uh, power from my base uh, power on my team. So, I mean, that's a huge, huge jump. And I feel like it could have been higher. Like, I, I mean, Shocker, he has no uh, no armor, really, or no damage mitigation. You clear his deflects on first turn with just, like, one assist. So, it's like, you know, he's not going to be able to live through, you know, the barrage of attacks. So, you might as well just knock him out and then... Uh, clear their offense up, and then that kind of ruins and neuters their attack. Uh, follow it up with the offense down from Invisible Woman is just killer to them. It just totally stops them in their tracks unless that doesn't apply or for some reason they resist the uh, buff removal from Namor. So this is like, I mean, this is just like, if you ever see Sinister Six, which I see on defense all the time, like Fantastic Four is an excellent, excellent counter, especially if you're like me and you have kind of a baby Fantastic Four, like they aren't terribly well built like mine. Um, you know, this is a really good combo to hit, you know, something 75, 100k higher than your team and really 
really push the limits on how high you can punch up. So anyway, it is also kitty approved. <laughs> he is squirming. Ah. Okay. Settle down, cat. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so Fantastic Four murders Sinister Six. Uh, FYI.